Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You, and you have caught me in recipe development mode. I am making a pumpkin soup. Now, the problem is, I don't like that pureed pumpkin soup baby food stuff. Now, I like it if I could put a bunch of roasted vegetables and pumpkin seeds or croutons or anything that I can chew instead of drinking it like a smoothie is what it seems like to me. So I am making a pumpkin stew. Something when you serve it actually has some chunks that you can chew and it is gonna be absolutely fantastic. How do I know it's gonna be great even when I haven't even made it yet? Well, because I'm a soup maker and I have confidence to know that this is gonna be fantastic. Also yesterday, I made some sourdough rye crackers that are absolutely fantastic and they have pumpkin seeds and cheese on top. The recipe will be down below in the description and also I'll flash a card for you to click on. So watch this recipe and find out how you can make a pumpkin soup that you actually have to chew. <laughs> Before we begin, there's a major tropical depression going over us. So you're gonna hear some rain from my roof and sorry, but the show must go on. I'm gonna put some grapeseed oil in my pan. Now just a little bit, like a tablespoon or two. Then I'm putting one medium onion and two stalks of celery into my pan. Oh, it's a little warm. Ouch. Uh, you think I should have watched that? I'm still getting used to my gas stove. Okay, we're going to put a four finger pinch of salt in there and we're going to let that sweat out a bit. Okay, now that I've got my uh, Onions under control. I'm gonna add probably it's probably like three cloves of garlic. You know, I love my minced garlic that I make. Make it yourself. It's great. I have an awesome video. I'll put that down below also for you. It is spectacular. We'll mix that in. Get our garlic going. Let's talk ingredients. I have the top of a butternut squash. I have two carrots sliced and two yellow potatoes. Now, I'm gonna put all this in. I might want a little more squash, I don't know. So, this is all I have of fresh. But, look at this. I keep on hand frozen butternut squash. It's awesome because then, if I don't have fresh, I could always use the one that's been in my freezer for six months. Also, I may put some kale in it. I'm not sure. We're gonna see that at the end. I don't have fresh kale, so it would be this kind of kale if I put it in. So we're gonna put in our root vegetables and our squash. You could have roasted these vegetables first and it would have brought out some really sweet flavors. That's okay too. And while this is all cooking, I've decided to put the sausage that I had already browned. This is a spicy Italian sausage and I put three links in here. I'll save the other two links for probably a spaghetti sauce or something like that. Um, I don't want tons of meat in this. I just want that sausage flavor. And before I add my liquid in my pumpkin, I really want these ingredients to cook down, get some browning, and get some great flavor going. I'm gonna put our spices in now. It looks like about two tablespoons of coriander. And then we're going to add a smokiness, which is a little bit of cumin just a half teaspoon of cumin. And then pepper, I'll put lots of pepper in here. While this smells so good, to be perfectly honest, this could be eaten like just like this without making it into soup. So I'm giving you an extra meal. So I turned this up to medium and we're just gonna let it cook one more time for about five minutes to get a little bit more of those crispy bits on the bottom. And then we are going to add our liquids. Okay, it's been five minutes. Let's get a little close up of how delicious and brown this is from when we started. That browning is spectacular. Next step, we are adding our pumpkin. I'm putting one can of pumpkin in. I have another can. If I decide to put it in, I will. I don't know yet, we'll see. Remember, this is recipe development day. Let's just kind of stir that in. So we are gonna add our water because we have this so we don't have to add the stock. We're adding our water and I have eight cups here and we're gonna put all eight in. Eight cups. 
and I'm gonna put about that's like two teaspoons and we'll see how that tastes with that I'm going to put in a handful of parsley gotta have an aromatic in there right more flavor is gonna develop but I gotta get an initial flavor here it definitely needs more salt but I'm not gonna do salt I'm going to do another scoop so that's a little more than a teaspoon gonna put that in there and then I've got to decide okay I could go um, what I want to do is I want to put cilantro in this but I I feel like I always do that and I feel like that's the easy way out so my other direction would be going to like kind of Middle Eastern put some cinnamon maybe some allspice nutmeg in there so before I put any of them in, what I do when I'm in recipe development mode is I smell them all. Before I smell them, I'm gonna take another sip. I'm gonna just try this broth again. Which definitely has a salt flavor, so that's good. Okay. And I'm gonna try all these. Don't think the nutmeg. I'm scared. I'm seriously scared here. I think I'm gonna go with allspice. Did you do it? Maybe I should measure it, that way I'll know, because if it's fantastic and I don't remember what I put in. So we're gonna put in a quarter teaspoon at a time, and we'll just see what happens. Quarter teaspoon of that. You know what, I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Right? Middle Eastern cooking does cinnamon all the time. It's in pumpkin, and we'll go from there. Let's see what we have. I can already smell it. It's a pretty soup. So my motto with soups and a lot of other meals is finish fresh. Finish with an herb, I always have cilantro and parsley on hand. It is so cheap at the grocery store. It lasts so long. And put a little wet paper towel around it and just keep it in the bag it came in, put it in the fridge. It can last you weeks that way. So remember that, finish fresh. So I know I will be finishing with either cilantro or parsley. And I'm also gonna finish with butter. Now, if you wanted to finish with heavy cream or half and half, you can do that too. I prefer a um, clear kind of broth. I'm not much into the creamy broths for some reason, but a quarter cup to a cup, depending on how much you like. At the end, make sure it's heated before you serve it. And also remember, after you finish with that much liquid, then you need to taste it before you serve it because you may need to adjust your salt. When you're finishing with two tablespoons of butter, it's already salted, you don't have to worry about it. But when it comes to cream or the coconut milk, if you pour a can of coconut milk in here, which would be absolutely fantastic, then that's what you would do, is you would taste it before serving. Taste your way through your dish. All right, it's smelling beautiful. I can definitely smell the cinnamon, and what else did I put in there? Allspice. It is a very pretty, rich looking soup, almost like I used beef in beef stock. It's so dark. It's absolutely beautiful. That is very good. I'm glad I went out of my comfort zone and went to the allspice and cinnamon. So now um, we're just gonna let this simmer Okay, I'm adding to my finishing fresh. I decided to chop up two scallions, a little less than a half of fistful. I'm gonna put those in. Now I'm saving some of that though to just put on top when I serve it. And then I'm gonna put in my two tablespoons of butter. And we have finished our amazing pumpkin soup that you can chew. Let's try a little on our cracker.
the cheese on there is coming through. And that pepita, wow, that is excellent. Now let's just try it. Recipe development, a success. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Please subscribe below and please give me a thumbs up or I would love to hear from you with a comment. I hope you have a wonderful day.